The El St Andrews is a particularly important building, a Grade B listed building in the heart of Motherwell. We started our journey about four years ago with this community building, suite of halls and major sanctuary in the middle of the town, but a building in great need of a makeover. We have no restrictions on who can use our premises. We're open to all and we're more than welcoming in terms of anybody that comes along because we want to see more and more use made of a building which in days gone by was largely open just for restricted hours perhaps on a Sunday. Now it's open all the way through the week and that's a great joy to us. The project has benefited the local community in that it has allowed us to open up our buildings much more. For example tonight the Boys Brigade are holding their annual review now this has never been able to be done before because we would not have the accommodation that we have now. It also is opening up to local organisations, for example, Voluntary Action for North Lanarkshire, Carers Together and various other ones in which they are able to use the accommodation. Last year when we were very successful in the Community Buildings Award, with the money that we received, uh, two things that we did, one we extended to an induction loop system in our small hall which helped people who are hard of hearing and the other thing was that we were also able to put an extra monitor in there which allowed all of our live streaming to be shown in there especially on a Sunday morning when that hall is being used by our mums uh, in the creche uh, so therefore it means then that the building is much more inclusive than it has been in the past. The feedback we've received from all our user groups has been overwhelmingly positive. I think the best way to demonstrate that is in relation to the increased use of the premises because word has got out now and has spread between different groups all around the area that the, the facility is available, it's comfortable, it's warm and it's adaptable. More and more people by word of mouth are feeding back, not just to us, but to other people. We also, of course, make very good use of the internet and our live streaming of services. Sunday morning, our YouTube connections, our Facebook, our Twitter connections. And from all these routes, we get emails, we get feedback, which is demonstrating that our investment in this facility for our Lord is paying off in a big way. We're delighted. We're very indebted to so many, to Jeanette and the Social Work Committee, We've worked tirelessly baking cakes, even tomorrow, another coffee morning planned. To Douglas Graham and his property committee for overseeing all of this work. To all the members of the congregation who have supported us so faithfully throughout in so, so many ways, but also externally to the wider community, local schools and local heritage society. We're very grateful indeed. And we're also grateful to the Landfill Communities Fund, who have supported us through several grant providers, but specifically to Biffa Award, who set us on the journey with a so important first major grant, a journey of a thousand miles that begins with one step, and that step, in our case, was the wonderful news from Irene Greenwood at Biffa Award of their support for our project. We are very indebted indeed. Thank you. We would not have been able to do all that we have done without the general support of the Landfill Communities Fund and Biffa Award.